hello everybody it's Deidreen thank you so much for joining me for yet another video so today I want to go ahead and show you guys a vacation that is completely budget friendly but feels luxurious so we're in Panama and I also want to show you guys how you can experience a multi-city trip Okay, thank you so much for sticking around. This is actually us leaving Havana in the wee hours of the morning, heading to Panama City. Firstly, I want to talk about my multi-city ticket. This is actually my second time using this option with Copa Airlines. And it's a fantastic way to visit multiple destinations without extra cost. I flew from Kingston to Havana first having a couple hours layover in panama before heading to havana and then after spending a week in havana i spent an additional four days in panama before heading home for travelers looking to get more out of their trip multi-city tickets are a game changer you get two trips for the price of one now here is a the route that i took from Kingston to Havana, then Havana to Panama. This is super easy and completely budget friendly. Now let's talk about transportation. For this trip, we decided to go ahead and take the train from the airport instead of grabbing a taxi. For less than $2 for two persons, we were able to get to the city in no time compared this to the $30 that the taxi would have cost us and you'll see how budget friendly this option truly is. Now the train is very efficient and it is extremely comfortable and I really like this option because it gives you this amazing glimpse of the city even before you start exploring. The train cards are available for purchase at the airport. It is $5, it's $2 for the card and $3 that you will be tapped up with so you can use that to commute. It's a great option and here are some views from my train ride. So we are now in the city in close proximity to our hotel and this is actually the train station and you'll notice in Panama everywhere is set up like a little mall <laughs> so if you're not careful you may get tempted. So next up is our hotel. We stayed at the Capolis Hotel in Panama and let me tell you this place was such a great deal. It's a four star hotel with all the amenities that you'd expect from a luxury stay but it only cost $208 for four days and three nights. The location was perfect and I really felt like I got a high-end experience without a high-end price tag, which was really nice. This is the room and we had a city view. You had different views as well available. And yeah, this is a budget-friendly room.
So we were actually on the 15th floor, there are 29 floors in total. And this hotel offers a pool, a spa, a gym, even a casino. Additionally, buffet breakfast is served every single morning and there are varying options available. Yes, this is the view from the 15th floor and that is the pool that we will check out really, really soon. So really nice view of the city. Okay, so it is 7, well, not even 7.30 p.m. yet. Um, and I should be exploring the nightlife. But honestly, I don't know if I can manage that. I just showered and I've, it's been three flights in what, five or six days i'm really tired um i might just go to bed i don't know we'll see so this is my first morning's breakfast now as i said there are varying options this morning i decided to try vegan sushi yes this is vegan sushi right here i decided to go ahead and try that amongst other things there are just various options you have if you want cereal if you want um eggs other proteins all of that is available and this is what i ended up going with a nice combination of things and this is the pool really nice very nice um rooftop pool you're able to get a beautiful view of the city we also decided to go ahead and check out the spa and i just loved it they had nice common music playing right throughout and we opt to go ahead and utilize their spa services which was honestly not as inexpensive as i thought it would be but I really liked it and um, the attendant, she was really nice. So I really liked that. And the entire setup was so scenic and so beautiful. Of course, we have to talk about food. So even on a budget, you can get a lot of affordable, great options. The first thing I had wasn't the best option. It was McDonald's and I went to Automac. Now, McDonald's is kind of my guilty pleasure whenever I'm on vacation. So I went to McDonald's the very first day of us being in Panama. Next, I went and I checked out Olive Garden for some Italian food. If you're in Panama City and want a reliable, delicious meal that doesn't blow your budget, Olive Garden is a great choice. Plus, with Olive Garden, you can get the unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks option. I can eat the get still, and yeah, I only had one roll that I just can't eat no more. We also went to Agents and Ramen where we had some amazing Japanese food. They offered big portions and amazing prices. And overall, I found that you can eat really well in Panama without spending a fortune. And these spots offer great value for money. So is Panama a great destination for budget travelers? Absolutely, from affordable flights and transportation to amazing hotel. Panama offers a luxurious experience without the high price tag. If you're looking to get the most out of your travel budget, definitely consider Panama. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in me doing a full price breakdown of every single dollar that I spent from Ubers, restaurants, and even shopping please let me know but until next time see you soon